So this is the jasminebrand.com, and I have Nikki Gilbert on the line. How are you doing? I am wonderful. How are you, Jasmine? I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. It's um, always great to hear from you. I wanted to touch base with you to just to see how things are going and see if you had anything new to share. Absolutely. Absolutely. I always, first of all, I wanted to applaud you and thank you for always being, you know, I've said this to you before, you always have such a great journalistic approach to your interviews and stuff. So, you know, through the good, the bad, and the ugly, I appreciate what you and how you, you know, do your thing. So I really appreciate you reaching out to me. And I've been working on some cool stuff. I've, I've um, you know, moved on, upward and onward um, from my experience with R&B Divas. I've learned a lot of really valuable lessons. Um, as an executive producer, as a content creator, um, and somebody who, you know, really wants to get, I know a lot of viewers were a little confused. Um, my message and, and sort of my reaction or image on the series didn't necessarily coincide. So moving forward, I felt like it was important to put my energy into the next big franchise, and um, I started immediately sort of in my moment, whatever that was, and my lessons uh, from the R&D Divas thing, I started to just sort of apply that. And the first um, title of my record was actually From the Bottom Up, and I just remember, you know, thinking when I was recording, or when we, I'm sorry, were recording the album, you know, we're, we're this is starting from the bottom, it's the hustle, it's the grind, but we're going to make it happen. And I felt like I was at the bottom again here almost 20 years later after pretty much losing everything. Um, after the R&B Divas franchise. So I decided to create a series um, from the bottom up, which is an amazing, amazing show. Um, we've got an incredible cast of women um, attached. James DuBose is the showrunner. Um, James is a person that I actually was going to work with on R&B Divas. And, you know, we, he was actually the original showrunner um, in my mind and in my heart for R&B Divas because I thought he was really handle it with a lot of respect and a lot of, um, you know, whatever. But for whatever reason, God didn't see fit for that to happen for R&B Divas. However, he is the showrunner for um, uh, From the Bottom Up, which is the working title for the series. So okay. we start shooting December 1st in Atlanta. Okay. And um, I had the, you know, th- thank God there are people who knew me before, during, and after the R&B Divas fiasco. And one of those people was Shaquem Compare and Queen Latifah. And okay. um, I basically relocated to Los Angeles. I partnered actually with um, a company called Peaches. Peaches is best known for, um, they're, they're actually the people who invested in Tyler Perry's career early on. Um, okay. and And are still very actively involved to this day. Um, in, in the movement of his shows and plays and stuff. They're the best promoters in the business. This was actually the promoter, Jasmine, ironically. And if I'm talking too fast or too much, feel free to cut me off, girl. I'm, <laughs> okay. just, I'm just trying to get it out. Okay, um, okay. But they are the people, the promoters that we were actually going, that that actually put the show up for sale for R&B Divas in season two. These are the people that I was trying to get to you know, promote the tour, who actually did the tour. For whatever reason, it didn't work. But we you know, have known each other for probably about 10 years since I did the work on Meet the Browns um, okay. for Tyler's play. And they were like, you know what, we know you, we know who you are, we know what you do, we're proud of you, how can we help? So we, they basically um, decided to get on board and support my production company. Um, and they are fully capable of, of doing pretty much anything they want to do, and I was blessed with that. And then um, I went and sat down and basically started talking about ideas with Shaquem and Matifa, and that we decided to form a joint venture, which basically is going to produce a number of series, and I want to talk to you about all of them, but today I can only really talk to you about one because it's like literally in the next few weeks there will be another press release on a project that Faith and I are actually working on with them, which okay. is huge. It's crazy. Okay. But I will probably be closing um, deals on um, probably three series before the end of the year. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, I think, you know, coming from Michael Jackson to Tyler Perry and ending up in a joint venture situation with Queen Latifah is just a testimony to no matter how hard it is and no matter, you know, how difficult the struggle may be or how much you may think people hate you, there are still key people you know, in your life that know who you are, support who you are, and I'm lucky to be there. 
um, question. I'm, I'm excited. I didn't want to think. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking. No, what no, is, no, ready. no. I, I get it. Um, so this from the bottom up series is that going to be a reality show? Is that a reality it's show? It's a docu series. Yeah, it's a docu series, okay. and it basically follows women who are very successful. Um, and and there will be an official press release, Jasmine. Just disclaimer. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm giving you sort of the unofficial spiel because I don't want people to feel like you know this is the run of it, but the the um, sort of unofficial explanation of it is it's a group of women um, who people are most, a lot of people will be very familiar with, um, who were very successful and something, some situation, some circumstance or whatever occurred in their lives and everything literally fell apart. These are women who have done jail time. These are women who have lost their families, you know, just very serious repercussions from their decisions. And this show is following them literally going from the top to the bottom and back to the top, um, which is basically my, my life story over the last few years. <laughs> okay. So a lot of, are you able to share any of the cast at this point? Um, I can. Um, I definitely, I'm not a part of the cast, by the way, FYI disclaimer. Um, I'm okay, a, I was going to ask that. I'm not a part of the show, of any of the shows I'm producing. I'm strictly involved behind the scenes. However, there is a film, which we'll talk about <laughs> that later. But um, okay. <clears throat> it's Christine Beatty who was at the center of the Kwame Kilpatrick controversy. Okay. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Kim Smedley, who was um, the the booty doctor. The what? I'm sorry, the what author? The, she did. It's the booty doctor. The the booty doctor. I'm sorry. She did. She, um, she did time for but an illegal blood injection. Gotcha. Okay, and, I, and, I'll, um, and I'll, I can look her up too. Okay. Um, Kim Smedley, Stacey Johnson. Okay, I know who um, she is. Who was the DUI, Mayor Kazim Reed. Uh huh. Um, Chris Al Wilson from Players Club. Okay. And Sarah Soaps from Making the Band, who just got out of jail. That I was wondering where she had been. Okay. Yep. Um, and, and sorry, can you repeat the first the um young lady's name from the Players Club? Christine Beatty. Christine Beatty. Okay. Is there any reason why you decided you didn't want to be part of the cast? Uh, I think that, you know, in order for me to really focus on being a content person, um, Mm -hmm. being a a real true activist and trying to really just sort of, you know, it didn't, it just did not work for me. And I don't think um, reality TV with me, well, let me, no, let me rephrase that, scratch that, that, because I'm overstating very sometimes. Um, I want to establish myself as a legitimate creator and producer. And I think that when we get caught up in being on camera, you know, no matter how you slice it, your abilities as a producer and a um, executive are blurred. You know what I'm saying? I think that was a big um, issue with with, uh, Think Factory Media you know, who uh, obviously still went through that drama. But, you know, I think it's very difficult for people because they already know me as Nikki from Brown, so I'm a singer. So I just got out of, would you sing, would you sing, would you sing? Now I'm, now I'm getting out of, when are you going to be on TV again, where are you going to be on TV again? And okay. I have, for the last, literally, Jasmine, for the last 10 years, I have been working to be involved behind the scenes as a writer, director, content person. Do I think that there is a future for me in front of the camera? Absolutely. We'll be making some announcements about, I mean, you know, there will definitely be an opportunity for people to see me on camera again. But but for these next few projects, um, and I may make a cameo here or there because, you know, specifically on the project that Faith and I are doing with uh, Latif and them, there's definitely, you know, going to be some opportunities there, but no consistent camera stuff. Gotcha. Social um, media is enough uh, recognition for me. So I, I'm good with my Instagram. That's my little <laughs> network TV thing. Okay. Um, and I feel like you already answered this, but what, I guess, what is the biggest lesson you learned from R&D, R&B Divas that you're kind of taking with you to this new experience with the, with the new um, Oof. Gosh, the biggest lesson. The biggest lesson would probably be to know your personnel. Okay. And trust um, the people that you work with. Um, okay. Yeah, that would be okay. the biggest. Okay. What so? 
can you tell me how or what's going to be your involvement with um, from the bottom up? Did you, well, I guess thus far you were you involved with the casting? No, I created the series. I cast the series, um, okay. and I, you know, put the real our production company basically put the reel together, and then, you know, we presented it to Flavor Unit, kind of like with R and B Divas, same situation. You know, um, created the sizzle reel, cast the show, and then brought it to Faith, and then you know, Faith and I took it to Think Factory, and then Think Factory took it to TV One, and that's kind of how that works. So. Okay. The same, except um, I am a real partner. <laughs> you know, I am, you know, someone with real input. And, um, you know, I'll have a, a lot more fun, I think, uh, on this. Not a lot more fun. Let me be strategic about my words. I will just be able to apply a lot more of what I learned from r and Divas. Gotcha. Now, the entire cast, for the most part, is based in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, and so is there any, are you thinking, you know, um, from the bottom of Atlanta or from the oh, bottom no, of LA? Oh, no, it's Oh, we've already, we've already pretty much decided on probably half the cast of LA. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, not decided on, but we have a great idea about, you know, who we are. And I think that it's something that can easily go from one city to the next. Ironically, Sarah's from Detroit, Christine is from Detroit. And I, of course, as a producer, you know, I'm from Detroit, so some part of me wants to either, you know, do a Detroit, an all-Detroit cast or do a version of the series in Detroit, because it really is about trying to empower women. I know people get afraid of that word because they think empowerment means that it's going to be boring or corny or snooze fest. Right. I think drama is healthy. I think being honest and forthright and just saying what's on your mind is healthy. I think what's not healthy in television is not having a resolution or not at least working to the, towards that, an honest effort to do that. And with this series, that's definitely something we plan to make, you know, put at the forefront. Were you concerned at all about having a cast that aren't really, that aren't celebrities, people really aren't, you know, some people know them, I, I, I'm sure, and Atlanta, I'm sure, is familiar, but were you concerned at all about, you know, putting a cast of people together that were not celebrities? No, one of the things that I think that I do well um, is I think I, I cast series well, I think, you know, and that's not to, you know, for ego or anything. I just think that that's one of the things that God has blessed me with the ability to see, you know, how these women, this particular group of women will interact together. Um, Reality TV has proven that you don't have to be a celebrity to, to be someone that captivates an audience, you know. And what was most important for me is women who were prepared to honestly share their stories. Um women who were humble and really understood, you know, the the dynamic of of the decisions. I'm sorry, the, the really understand how the decisions that they've made have negatively impacted their lives okay. and how they can, you know, there is hope. And that was most important for me. I wasn't concerned about who was going to, you know, people going to tune in because this person was, a celebrity or because this person was a hothead or whatever, I want people to watch the series and really feel like they're entertained, they're inspired, you know, they feel like they get something from it. When I watch Shark Tank, mm-hmm. I get drama, I get intrigue, I get education, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all those things are included. When I watch certain other series, even, you know, I have to say with the Housewives franchises, you know, there's drama and there's cattiness and it's over the top and ridiculous a lot of times, but you see these women making moves and making strides and dealing with real issues. And I think that that's the most important thing in any series is you see women dealing with real issues and it's honest and it's not contrived and it's not, you know, scripted reality. It's gotcha. real. Gotcha. Do, do, the, do the, any of the cast members know each other? They see a few of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you any idea? I know you're just gonna start. You're just gonna start filming in December. Any idea when it'll air? Um, 2015. Um, is this? You know, it's I. I can't really release too much information beyond that, but we are definitely looking at 2015. Okay. 